touch on some of the rhetoric out there in the baseball world. Now, I don't want to turn people off, but a lot of people across this country and, the, and around the world have been jaded about what the city of San Francisco is. And Roddy Telez, Buster Olney, hell, even Buster Posey, they've all disappointed me. Not not like Draymond Green. I was going to say, it was back to disappointment from yesterday. I, you know what? Actually, Draymond Green's disappointing, and I hope he gets the help that he needs, but he's let us down. Buster Oney, Buster Posey, Roddy Telez have disgusted me. What they've said about my city that I've grown up in has disgusted me. Now, Roddy Telez is from Elk Grove. He ain't even from Sacramento. You're from Elk Grove. And for him to go out there and say, you know, when we used to go to games and, you know, it was hardly safe, yada, 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 you, you act like this is a war zone. You act like this is the south side of Chicago. All right, And even the White Sox have been able to sign guys, despite guys killing each other left and right in the south side of Chicago, which I don't like. I don't like. But don't get on here and act like we're the only city that has a homeless issue. You ever been up to Seattle, folks? You ever been up to Portland? You ever been to L.A.? You ever been to San Diego? Around the Gaslamp District? I'm getting texts from people from San Diego. Hey, look, we got people in the Gaslamp. Philadelphia? I'm getting tagged in videos in Philadelphia about homelessness. So for Buster Posey you ever go to, New York? to take the bait, <laughs> to take the bait from Farhan Zaidi and say what he said about this city is disgusting. Just move. You know, like you're running a franchise here in Farhan, with Farhan and you guys are making decisions on free agents and you're discussing the city and how it affects you? No. You know what affects you not signing free agents? is by you not having talent on this team. By you not having a good farm system. By you not having an attractive team, an attractive squad. By you having a terrible philosophy and platooning. That's why you're not signing guys. And you got to make a big trade. But don't give me this crap that, hey, you know what? Our city's in shambles. Just stop. Just stop it. I'm tired of it, Spadoni. Crapping on my city that I grew up in. It's the same issues that I've had my entire life. Now, has the cost of living gone up? Absolutely. Have people moved businesses out of here? Absolutely. The pandemic was a nightmare for a lot of people. But a lot of people also do a lot of online shopping. Go look at Silicon Valley. Yeah. All right? Where's Facebook at? Where's Yahoo at? Where's Google at? People are working from home down in Silicon Valley. They don't got a homeless problem. It's just the way the times here in the Bay Area. So I'm tired of these people who never stepped foot in my city, who never walked down the street in my city, who live in Walnut Creek or Concord or from Elk Grove, like Roddy Telez, speaking about my city, talking about how unsafe it is. That's a load of crap, and I'm tired of it, and I'm disappointed in Buster Posey. I really am. For him to go down that train, down that lane with Farhan Zaidi, and use that as his excuse... That's terrible, especially because Buster Posey lived in the East Bay. He didn't live in a damn city. He don't know about living in Fillmore. He don't know about living in Patrail Hill or Hunter's Point. Get out of here with this. I'm tired of it. Stop blaming the city for you guys not being able to sign guys. It's, it's, it's disgusting. It is. The Warriors don't make the excuses. The Niners don't make the excuses. Stop it. Please. It's disgusting. And it's disgusting coming from Buster Posey, who I thought was better than that. And who are the excuses serving? Like, if I'm a free agent, Bonte, and you're crapping on your own city, why would I want to come here if you don't even believe in it? I want to go somewhere where you believe in not only the city you're playing for, right. but everything that encompasses it. And listen, I'm not I'm not here to... I'm not from the Bay Area. I'm from Monterey Peninsula. It's two hour, hour and a half south of here. My dad grew up in San Mateo. He's from the Bay. Um, but I've lived here now for 10 years. I'm an East Bay guy, though. Yeah. And I've been working here in the city, what, six, seven years, however long I've been here. And it does piss me off when I travel around other places yep. and I say I'm from Oakland too, because it gets a negative. Con Oakland also gets a negative connotation here and it really bothers me. And I know we still have a franchise that's on its way out, but that always really pissed me off where it's just like, oh, the city of Oakland, they can't handle it. They need to move to Las Vegas. They got places. It's a dump. It's an S hole. You mm -hmm. see where they're playing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's not the greatest, but the people that I live near out in the Laurel district, out the Laurel district, if you live there, some of the most colorful, kind, warm, one of the greatest places I've ever lived in my life, mm -hmm. ever. And I grew up in a very predominant white community down in Pacific Grove where I grew up. And I feel blessed that my son, my daughter, my wife, all of us get to grow up in a place where there's lots of different cultures, ethnicities, backgrounds. So when I hear um, people dumping on the city, people dumping on the Bay Area, and 
quite honestly, it's the state of California that's yeah. really gotten this short end of the stick, which is just ridiculous to me. Good luck, the rest of the country, if you didn't have California, by the way, because you'd be screwed. I just want to put that out there real quick. So if you hate the state so much, okay, that's fine. You need us. You need the Bay Area. You need LA. You need all of us. And I, and I am sick and tired of it, too, because it starts to piss me off um, just being a California resident yep. in general. But I can feel your passion being no, from the city because you know what? I walk here. We walk here at, what, 4, 3 in the morning. You don't think we see everything, too? Right. Like, worked, like I worked at all hours come of on. the day, Spinoni, in the city. All hours of the day. The homeless issue to me. It's everywhere, it's, man. It's, 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 it's been like this my whole life. Yeah. It's a major city. So I went up to Seattle. I was like, damn, Seattle's kind of dirty in certain areas. I'm not going to sit there and bag on Seattle because I understand there's some clean areas. I understand there's going to be a, uh, some homeless people. There's going to be drug issues. There's going to be people getting high. Welcome to a major city, folks. By the way, the Roddy Tellez video has been deleted. So I guess it couldn't stand the heat there. When you got a guy talking about from Elk Grove saying that, you know, it was hardly safe down here. You're not going down to Oracle Park. Ain't nobody robbing you down there, man. It's a fun time. People are trying to make money. They're trying to make money. They're not trying to rob anybody. So I don't, I just, that just bothered me. That really bothered me that Buster Posey, Roddy Telez, and Buster Roney, and people take prep back on the city that I grew up in, that I walked in, that I've taken every bus in. Stop it. Stop it. And shout out Logan Webb, who doesn't claim to be from the city, from Rockland, obviously. Uh, grew up an A's fan, now playing for the Giants. Their star pitcher finished second to Cy Young by Blake Snow. What a hell of a season. One of the young guys you can get excited about on the team. Here's him tweeting yesterday, or Xing, whatever the hell you want to call it. A lot of people that have never played in SF seem to know a lot about it. Exactly. I love that. I want to hear more from that from the players, to be yep. quite honest. And look, I'm not even I'm not even saying the city's perfect. We have a lot of issues in the city. We really do. It is a depressing. I was talking to Zena Kata last night uh, after Warriors uh, during the during the basketball game yesterday, and you know the city's not fun. I it felt like it peaked in 05, 06 maybe, but like the nightlife has gone down, and I feel bad about people in the nightlife. Working in the bar scene, it's just not good. I worked at the Bubble Lounge for a long time. That's now the Barbarossa Lounge. I seen the nightlight just kind of go downhill. Um, people, the shops, you see all the cl shops closing, the mom and pop shops and everything. I'm not saying the city's fine. We got a lot of work to do in this city, a ton of work. It is far from perfect, but don't act like it's the worst city in the world. Don't act like we're the only ones with drug problems and homeless problems. All right? I get that people are getting their car jacked and stuff, and I don't condone that, but I also say, you know what? I haven't left anything in my car in 15 years. I'm not even going to take that chance. So if you leave $50,000 of, of equipment in your car, well, you know what? You're asking for it in this city. You know there's a problem with carjacking. Do not leave stuff in your car. I mean, that's just a life lesson in general. I don't care where you're living. You could be out in Pebble Beach, California. I'm locking my doors and doing everything. I don't, you don't, tr I don't trust anyone. Right. Like that, That's a problem anywhere, too. So. It's just, uh, right. that, that, it just it's feels just, like dumping to for dumping sake right. on on the city right now. Right. And it's just, I don't like that. It's 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 other cities, too, that are dirty and nasty. Go look at the Gaslam District with a pot. Look at Los play. Angeles. <laughs> you think Shohei Otani, like, you know, he played and lived in Los Angeles right. his whole career so far. I know it's different parts of it and stuff like that. Like, come on. Really? That's the excuse we're using? Yeah, but also, you know what? You know what's funny, Spadoni, before we move off of this? It's a lazy excuse by Buster Posey. It's a lazy excuse mm -hmm. by Buster O'Neill. It's a lazy excuse by Farhan Zaidi, which is why I asked him this at the end of the season presser. In the season presser, it's lazy because a lot of players either stay at those condos across the street from Oracle Park, or they live in Atherton, or they live in Hillsboro, or they live in Millbrae, they live in the East Bay, Concord, Walnut Creek. They don't even live in the city. They don't even have to be around the city. You know, your wives want to go shop. They could go online shopping. That's what a lot of people do. Online shopping, you don't have to go to the malls if you're that scared to go into the city. Oh, my God, we fear for our lives in the city. Like, stop it. A lot of these players don't even stay in this city. So I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know why. I don't know why Buster Posey would say it. You're on the front. Like, let other people say that for you. It's, it's disappointing that, you know, the guy that was the face of your franchise during three World Series runs said something like that. Yeah. Like, do you think Tim Linscombe right. saying something like, like that? No. You think Hunter Pence is saying something like that? A guy that embraced the city, and I mentioned it yesterday. I know we got to go to break here in a second. But for as many faults as Gabe Kapler has had as a manager, and he had a lot of them, you know one thing that I appreciate about him? He embraced he the city. He embraced the city. Yep. You could see that guy walking around. How many times did Joe Shasky go over mm -hmm. here talking? And we love you, Joe. Filling in for him today, Joe Spadoni, by the way. He would just see him riding his bike. 
He would come to him and say, hey, what's up, Gabe? And he'd say, hey, what's up back? You can see him going down, was it, Brogan and Son or whatever, right down the street over there mm -hmm. at our old building, just mm -hmm. getting his hair cut. Mm -hmm. Like that is Gabe. He's going to trying all the new food spots, talking about on social. I appreciated that aspect of Gabe Papper. And now you have a guy, another local guy, and Bob Melvin, and how does he feel that his president of baseball operations now is hamstringing his efforts right. to try to bring guys over right. here? He's a Cal guy. You know. he, he played for the or he he you know didn't you know, he play but, for the A's, but he managed them forever. Right. You know, like, come on. You know it's funny. Buster Posey says that about the city. Yet his wife wanted to move back here. Mm. They wanted to move back to the area. You know. Let's let's just not let's not confuse people with the facts that the Giants just suck. Let's stop making excuses and stop blaming the city for your inability to sign guys because your franchise sucks right now and it's not a winning product. And boy, you better hope you win next season. Yeah. You better hope you win next season. I want to pick more of, of this on the other side, too. All right, we'll do that. That's coming up here. I'm a little fired up because I'm tired of people bragging. Like, we don't have issues across America. Sure, this city is far from perfect. Politically, you know, with the homeless problems, with the drug problems. But we ain't the only city in America that has that issue. We go all up and down California, all up and down the West Coast, all across the East Coast, go out to Chicago. And I guarantee you there's problems out there. I've been down to Miami. Miami ain't the cleanest spot in certain areas. So let's stop it. Stop crapping on the city and stop blaming the city for your inability to sign players.